Okay, this is where we're going to start Trek 3. Going that away. This is the third trail we are mapping in the Kistashi National Forest. In video one, we saw bridges, creeks, and a cool campground. In video two, we saw more creeks, two awesome little cemeteries with headstones dating back in the 1800s, an old homestead, at least that's what I think it is, with a big enough area that you could set up a primitive camp. In this video, we continue along the forest roads. There are several other roads that turn off to the left and the right of this main stretch that we're mapping that would lead to dispersed campsites. Maybe other views and areas to see wildlife. We leave this for you to explore as you travel the route. About middle ways of this section is another primitive campground and it has pit toilets, picnic tables, lantern poles, and is a great place to set up camp while you're exploring this area. If you wanted to come to this area and spend a weekend, there's two different campsites that you could stay at for the weekend as you travel through this small section of the Kistashi National Forest. We really enjoyed this trip and highly recommend others stop in here and check it out and explore. The roads we traveled were not rough. Two wheel drive would be fine in this area. Some of the roads that come off of the main road might be a little rough and you may need all wheel drive or 4x4 to traverse into some of those sections. Be sure you go to the website, the National Forest website for these areas to read all the rules and regulations and where you can and cannot go. There was one road at the end of this trail that where we ended this section or this video. Uh, the road did end at a trail and you can only go up that trail in a vehicle during hunting season. But you can walk up into the area. I did get out of the vehicle and walk some of the area and the further I went the uh, muddier and uh, it got to where I couldn't even walk in it. It was just so swampy. So uh, some of these areas can be bad uh, and some of the areas you're not supposed to be in during certain times of the year. That's why you need to be sure to check out all the rules and regulations in any national forest that you go to. At the end of this video where we stop Trail 3, we do leave this section of the Kastashi National Forest and head over to another area of the Kastashi National Forest that's on a lake, uh, which will be Corny Lake. And we run the east side of Corny Lake. So stay tuned for that video to come soon. That is a totally different section of the Kastashi National Forest. We hope you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't watched the first two, uh, you, you might want to go back and check those two out. I do have a playlist called Kastashi National Forest that has some other videos where we were in different sections of this forest. There are several sections throughout the state of Louisiana and uh, it is the only national forest uh, in the state of Louisiana. So be sure to check those videos out too. We hope you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications when new videos are posted. And of course, share with all your friends. We appreciate it very much. It's a great way for y'all to help us out. And we appreciate it. This is on the third section of the trail we are mapping through Katashi National Forest. Just a small section of Caney Ranger District.
not too far, maybe middle ways of the third section that we're mapping. This is a hunter's camp, but when, you know, hunt season's not going on, the public can use these campsites. And there's pit toilets, picnic tables, lantern, post, so you don't put nails in trees. But we're going to drive around this little section. We're going to drive on and pull down there. This is one-way road. Not real big area, but nice enough you come up in here and camp. Maybe see some wildlife. So let's just drive on around a little ways. Now these, I do not believe they're maintained. I think they're only maintained while hunting season's going on. But if you come out here and you drive these trails, you have a place that you can come and camp, stay the night, cook out. You've got pit toilets. Yeah, walk around. Uh, I don't like my seatbelt ain't on. But we're at the back of the campground now. I think y'all probably got a pretty good idea what all's here. So we will be back on the trail.
Okay, check three ends right here. Big circle turnarounds, dead end. Don't imagine many people come back here. So if a person wanted to pull off the side road and set up a tent, probably could. Now the trail does go on up this way a little bit here, CN 1111, but I saw a sign up here. And it says, walk in use invited, closed to vehicles, March 1st to August 31st. 